Hi, in this example, I'm on uh, in this video, I'm going to do an example. Uh, I call it snowstorms example. It, it's a problem. You'll see just a second. It's a problem that uh, every semester I have students ask me about this, uh, about how to do this problem because, uh, you know, using the, the, the notation and the terminology that's just taught on the P exam uh, makes it kind of a difficult problem to do. But if you'll use the terminology and the notation that we developed in the, in the uh, policy modifications learning video, that terminate, terminology and notation that's that's used on the STEM uh, in the STEM material. It makes this problem a lot easier. So let's uh, let, let's get into the example, and hopefully I can convince you that uh, is, it will be a lot easier to to learn the terminology and notation from uh, the STEM material. Uh, makes problems for the P exam much easier. Okay, so we got this example where a company buys a, a policy to ensure its revenue in the event of major snowstorms that shut down business. The policy pays nothing for the first such snowstorm of the year and 10,000 for each one thereafter until the end of the year. The number of, of major snowstorms per year that shut down business is assumed to have a Poisson distribution with a mean of 1.5. Calculate the expected amount paid to the company under this policy during a one year period. Okay, so let's develop some, uh, let's, let's write out some notation here. Uh, let's use cap n to represent the random variable uh, or to denote the random variable representing the number of such snowstorms per year, that, th those that shut down business. And I'm told that cap n follows a, a Poisson distribution with a, a parameter of lambda equal 1.5. Okay, so now let's look at a table that relates the cap n, the number of such snowstorms, to the amount paid to the company. So I'll use cap y to represent the amount paid to the company. And of course, if cap n is zero, if there are no snowstorms, then there's no payment to the company. And, and the policy pays nothing for the first snowstorm, so if cap n is one, there's no payment to the company. It does, it's only w with the second snowstorm does there become a payment to the company, and uh, if there are exactly two snowstorms, the payment the, the company would receive a payment of ten thousand. If there were three, the company would receive a payment of twenty thousand, and so forth. And so it may appear, you know, trying to relate the cap Y and the cap N value, it may appear that the cap Y would be ten thousand times uh, cap N minus one. But that's not that's not true because cap N, if cap N is zero, then I would get a zero minus one or negative, I get a cap Y of negative 10,000 and that's not the value of cap Y. So I shouldn't use that notation, but I can use the notation that we developed in, in uh, the, the learning video, video on policy modifications and write that as the 10,000 times a cap N minus one with a subscript of a plus. The plus means zero out any of the negative values you would otherwise get if you were, uh, if you were to calculate, you know, go through this calculation. And now what I seek is the expected value of the company payment, so the expected value of cap Y. And after factoring out a 10,000, I can see that that's 10,000 times the expected value of the cap N minus one plus. But in the learning video, we, we saw that the expected value cap N minus one plus was the expected value cap N minus the expected value cap N hat. These values, the expected value cap N and the expected value of cap N hat one are gonna be easier to calculate. In fact, the expected value cap n is just the, the parameter since it's a Poisson distribution, it's 1.5. And so really all I need is the expected value of cap n hat one. So the, the remember cap n hat one is the maximum, I'm sorry, is the, the minimum of cap n and one. And so what are the, the values? Well, uh, I'm taking the minimum of cap n and one. Look at the support of cap n. It, cap n could be a zero or a one or a two or a three and so forth. If cap n is zero, the minimum of zero and one is zero. And so the cap n hat one is equal to zero exactly when cap n is zero. So the probability there is the probability that cap n is zero. And I use the, 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 the rule for calculating the the probability that cap n is zero when, when n is a Poisson distribution. In other words, it's e to the minus lambda or e to the minus 1.5. Now, for any other value of cap n, if cap n is a one or a two or a three or a four and so forth, when you take the minimum of cap n with one, you're gonna get one. The minimum of one with one is one. The minimum of two and one is one. The minimum of three and one is one. So the only other value that cap n hat one could be is one. That's the entire support of the random variable. Cap n hat one is either a zero or a one. And, and, and being a, a, just that two point distribution, the probability that cap n 
hat one is equal to one would just be one minus whatever the probability that it's equal to zero, one minus e to the minus uh, uh, 1.5. And then the value that I seek, recall, remember the value that I seek is the expected value of this random variable. So I'm taking a sum product with zero times the e to the minus 1.5 is zero, and I'm left with just a one minus an e to the minus 1.5. So when we go through the calculation, we get that this expected value of, uh, of cap n minus one hat uh, is 0 0.7231, and then I multiply that by the 10,000 above, and I get the expected payment uh, uh, the expected payment to the insurance company would be this 7,231 number. So I invite you to, uh, I, I hope you think that, I hope you agree that, that that's, that's a, a very reasonable problem using the terminology and notation that we've used here. I invite you to look at the solution that the SOA has uh, posted uh, for this problem and compare it to what we've done. And I think that you'll agree that what we've done is, is quite a bit easier. So using that terminology and notation that we developed in the policy modifications video, it's the terminology and notation that comes from uh, the S-Town material. It, it makes a lot of these problems a lot easier to, uh, to, to do. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.